Hello everybody and welcome to this video about the battle for Westnot. In this video we will be examining the units in the loyalist factions. Most units in this faction are human and they are uh, lawful units. That means that these units will all do 25% more damage a day but it will also mean that they will do 25% less damage at night. This means that you should always try to attack at day and defend at night, especially against the chaotic faction. Now let's look at the different units. The first units that we will be looking at cost four 14 gold. That is the Spearman, the Bowman and the Merman Fighter. However, the Spearman has the most hit points and the most damage of all these three units. Let me show you a little graph to show what I mean. If we make a table of how much each unit costs, how much damage they do per gold, average, uh, take into account the different time of days and so on, and how much hit points they have per gold, then we can clearly see that the Spearman at 14 gold has the highest damage per gold of all the, all the units. It also has the highest hit point per gold together with the Merman fighter. So this should prove to you that the Spearman is a very powerful unit that should not be taken lightly. The only exception to having the highest damage per gold is the Horseman. When the Horseman does a charge attack it effectively doubles its damage. That means that it would theoretically do slightly more damage per gold than a Spearman. However it will also take double damage in retaliation. So the Horseman is a special unit that you cannot rely on for all your units. So let's go back and let's look at our units. Um, so the um, Spearman has 36 hit points, the Archer 33 hit points and the Merman Fighter has the same hit point at 36. The Merman Fighter is a water based unit. That means it will take longer to move over land but it will move faster in the water. Similarly um, the normal units will go faster over land but they will move much slower in the water. The next units are what I call specialty units. The first one, a defensor, costs 16 gold. This unit has a skirmisher ability. It also has a much higher defense, which makes it good uh, to defend on certain terrain against certain opponents. However, they also have negative resistances, which makes them a bad defender under circun certain circumstances. Also keep in mind that the Skirmisher has one of the lowest um, hit points per gold, and also one of the lowest damage per gold. So use this unit only if you can are absolutely certain that you can use its movement and its skirmisher ability. You will notice that this unit has 6 moves, while most units have 5, unless they are quick. The merman fighter also has 6 moves instead of 5. The cavalryman costs 17 gold, which is 1 gold more expensive than the uh, fencer. Oh, and by the way, the, the fencer has only 28 hit points. So um, the cavalryman at 17 gold is much more expensive than the spearman. It does blade damage instead of pierce damage, but if you look at the damage per gold, it's noticeably much lower. And you also see that he doesn't have a ranged attack. If he's not strong, he will do only 18 damage at day. The big advantage of the Cavalryman, besides its moves, is its defenses. It has 40% impact resistance and 30% blade resistance. Although it does have, like other horse-based units, minus 20% pierce resistance. However, the fact that it does have high impact and blade resistance means that the Cavalryman will be a very powerful unit against certain enemies. The next unit that we will look at is the Heavy Infantryman. 
the heavy infantry does a little bit better damage and it's somewhat comparable to bowmen in terms of damage per gold however it, it has significantly less hit points per gold and it has only 4 moves instead of 5 there are two advantages to this unit the first one is the melee impact type damage certain units are vulnerable to impact such as griffons or skeletons the unit also has a high pierce and blade resistance which makes it strong against uh, enemies that do this kind of damage however it has a slightly negative cold and fire resistance which makes it weak against mages dark adepts and other units such as burners the fact that this unit is so expensive doesn't have a lot of hit points for its cost and has a low moves and even uh, resistance penal penalties makes this unit only good in very specific circumstances only in very rare games will you need heavy infantrymen in most games you won't need any at all and if you need some you will probably don't need more than one the next unit that we will look at at 20 gold is the mage 20 gold is a very expensive unit if we look at the hit points per gold of the mage it is the lowest of every unit in the game which means that it's very important to protect this unit because it won't take much damage for him to die and it will be very expensive if we look at the damage this unit does it's not much higher than the skimmer shield, and it's significantly lower than a spearman it's also lower than a bowman which also has a ranged attack however the big advantage of this unit besides its damage type is the fact that this is a magical ranged attack and it will always have a 70% chance to hit the mage is a speciality unit you should only use it in certain circumstances against certain enemies or to attack a highly fortified position the next unit that we will look at is a horseman a horseman at 23 gold is the most expensive unit for loyalists however it can potentially have the highest damage per gold and it can deliver this damage from one hex and with 8 moves or if it's a quick horseman it can have 9 moves that means that one horseman attack can often be enough to kill one unit if we look at day a strong horseman can do up to 22 damage and you have to multiply that by 2 that means that it can do up to 44 damage Oh, and this is a regular one can do 44 and a strong one can do 48 that means that a strong horseman at day could potentially kill every unit that is on this map right now except of course uh, the orcish level 2 orcish warrior but besides that it could kill almost every level 1 unit unless of course they are highly resistant to previous damage but keep in mind that the horseman has a very low hit points per gold on top of that it will take double damage in retaliation that means that protecting your horseman against damage is one of the most essential features of this unit if you succeed in delivering heavy damage while at the same time preventing yourself from taking heavy damage then you will notice that the horseman can be a very effective unit so those are all the units in the loyalist faction i hope this information was somewhat useful to you and i'll see you in the next video